Hello YouTube, today we're gonna talk about seed shrimp. They've been called by many names over the years, cute, ugly, beneficial, helpful, shrimp killers. Today we're gonna find out if they're a friend or a foe in our aquariums. Let's dive into it. If we're just meeting, my name is Anthony and welcome to Waterworld. Today we're going to talk about seed shrimp or ostracods as they are scientifically known. Nope, not this, not this, not this, but this. Many people often confuse seed shrimp and these creatures, the scuds. This is normal as there are many species of ostracods and scuds and usually the ones we see in aquariums are quite small. When people see these bugs in their tanks, after eliminating any chances of them being Daphnia or Cyclops, they claim that they have scuds in their tanks. Having said that, these two creatures, besides being completely different in appearance, they also have a different swimming style in the water. Therefore, with a little observation, we can tell which one's which. So, what are these seed shrimp or ostracods? They are a class of crustaceans, which also includes the crabs, lobsters, crayfish, shrimp and other creatures. Their sizes span from just a few millimeters to a couple of centimeters. They inhabit every aquatic environment on Earth in various depths. Their body is suspended within a calcified shell, which looks like a seed, hence the common name seed shrimp. Their shell varies in color, however, it may also be transparent. Their body inside the shell consists of a head and a thorax. The head is the largest organ in the shell and two pairs of well-developed antennae are used to help them swim and there is also a pair of mouthpieces. Some species have one or two eyes, but their major sense is via little hair on their bodies and appendages. They live in the upper layers of the substrate and can be carnivores, herbivores, scavengers and filter feeders. Them being carnivores does not mean that they will attack snails, shrimp or fish, but rather that they will eat any organic waste decaying in the tank along with algae and decaying plants. Ok guys, fun facts. The seed shrimp have survived the five mass extinction events which took place on planet Earth and also survived in zero gravity for four months in the Russian space station Mir. I know that many people panic when they see these creatures in their aquariums as they think that they pose a threat to their aquatic pets. In essence, these guys are the best cleanup crews for our aquariums. In fact, if they thrive in your aquarium, this indicates excellent water parameters. By the way, the bugs on my aquarium glass are fresh water limpets. I do love them, even though sometimes when I want to shoot a video, they're a bit annoying as they're getting in the way. As you can see, I do have seed shrimp in my tanks and rarely notice them these days. In the beginning, they will overpopulate your tank, but eventually, after 4 to 5 months, their population will self-regulate and their number will diminish over time as long as you do not overfeed. In early stages, guys, if you want to get rid of them by the hundreds, you can just siphon the gravel. I will show you now the main reason as to why I personally believe that these guys are not a foe, but rather a friend in our hobby. A few months ago, I was leaving my place and noticed that a shrimp had died in the foreground in my main tank. I was in a rush and I couldn't find the tweezers, as for the record, I removed dead shrimp on the spot. In the video, you can see what I saw once back. The seed shrimp had already made their way inside the dead shrimp's body and devoured the organic parts inside the exoskeleton. That day I realized how important their role is in an ecosystem. In the event that you have deaths in a shrimp or fish tank, the seed shrimp will take over and ensure that there won't be any ammonia spike. So, so what do you guys think? Do you have a cool story to share with us with regards to the seed shrimp in your tanks? If so, please share in the comment section below. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications once new videos are up. Another benefit of having these guys around is the fact that they will take care of any uneaten food in your tank, so you will not have to worry about pollution so much. 
still not convinced that having them around can be beneficial? Perhaps you just do not want these bugs in your tanks, right? You might be able to remove them if you completely nuke your tank with bleach or by using the API algae fix or hydrogen peroxide. However, be careful on how you will use each one of these. Do your research prior to taking any action. Even if you get rid of the seed shrimp in the tank at first, your real problem will be their eggs, as according to sources, they are able to withstand sub-zero temperatures, pesticides, UV light, CO2 overdose, and radiation. They have been designed perfect and have not evolved in 500 million years. How do we know? From fossils, found all over the world. A word of caution. Reports online suggest that seed shrimp can eat fish and snail eggs while they're hatching attached here and there in your aquariums. So keep that in mind. If any one of you can confirm this, please let everyone know in the comment section below. How can you remove them safely without nuking your tank? Many people employ guppies and bettas among other types of fish to hunt them down and eliminate them over time. I have not tried this myself, so I cannot guarantee any success. Like I said, that is the word on the street. Overall, I have never seen seed shrimp bother any of my shrimp in my tanks. For me, they have my gratitude and my water worlds can be their home. My suggestion to all of you, rather than going crazy, learn to live with them and use them to your benefit. My name is Anthony and I hope you've learned something new today. Until the next time, guys, bye-bye.